And welcome back. Well, February is National Children's Dental Health Month and beyond brushing and flossing. Our next guest says kids should see an orthodontist early on to prevent future problems. Joining us now from Bubon Orthodontics are Dr. Mike Rosny next to me. We've got Stacy Kalarko along with Jenny Nithalansky from Harris Family Dental. Thanks for being here, everybody. Yeah, thanks great for having us. Thank yeah, thank you. Let's talk about that because I think a lot of people are familiar with kids when they should go to the dentist, but we're talking about seeing an orthodontist early on. Right, yeah, so ideally, it's around seven years old. So the American or Association of Orthodontists as well as the American Dental Association both have recommended uh, seeing an orthodontic specialist at seven years old. Seven. Yeah, and really the main intent for that is so that they can check and evaluate early on if there's any issues that can prevent future issues, uh, greater issues that would require surgery or mm. would require um, yeah, tooth removal, baby tooth removal, permanent tooth removal. Are these things like a parent would normally notice too with their kids' teeth or are these really things that you would just n know yourself looking at, at the mouth? Sure, some of it can be mm -hmm. um, recognizable just from visual inspection, but some of it really is you have to take radiographic x-rays and, yeah. and evaluate where the tooth is positioned and how it's erupting and, and uh, coming into place. And that early treatment really kind of aids in the overall oral health for a child's mouth. Oh, most definitely. So early on um, with the teeth in a crowded position and, and overlapping, it's very difficult to take very good care of the teeth. So brushing, flossing are good, but if the teeth are overlapped, it makes that even more of a difficult process. And a lot of those young kids aren't doing the flossing as much no. as they <laughs> <laughs> Which They're I know we'll have some good <laughs> ideas for in just a second. But Stacey, I want to talk about early orthodontic treatments from you, because I, I, I think this is interesting how you mentioned it can it can really take this organic and holistic approach. Yes. And I don't think about those words no, with don't. orthodontics. No, no. Why do you use those? Well, the functional appliances that we use are just they're easy, they're fun. Um, the kids can actually decorate them. What is that that you're holding? This is an appliance. So, so this holding would, that there? Sure. This mm -hmm. would actually fit into the roof of the mouth. Easy, does not hurt at all. Tip it up so we can see it there because there's like a little de decoration on the bottom. It is, yes. We have all sorts of different colors that they can pick from. They can put glitter in there. They can put stickers in there. So this, they're choosing it. They're yes, actually decorating yes, it. Yes, which is more ownership. So Aww. you get more compliance that way too. It just it makes it their own. And a lot of times the kids take a lot longer to pick out their colors and their stickers than the whole process of, of scanning the teeth for the expander. Yeah, so it truly does nice. make it fun. I mean, you don't yes. think about orthodontics being fun, but that really does make it fun for a child. It does. And I, I think that's one of the points you want to make, Jenny, is that this is sort of a collaborative care approach. Correct. So my role as a dental hygienist from Harris Family Dental, I work with the orthodontist to make sure that their oral health is in order because with braces and bacteria, we talk about um, an Oral-B toothbrush, we talk about a water pick, um, and we also talk to the orthodontist to make sure that care is being met um, from the cavity approach, the periodontal disease approach, so we take x-rays and we work together as a community and as a team to meet the needs of the patient. So that's what we love about working with Bubon Orthodontics yeah. because they ensure that our patients are getting the functionality of straightening the teeth and making sure it's easy to care for the teeth with brushing and flossing. And fun. Does yeah. a, water puck, uh, a water pick replace a regular so Aww. this is actually an Oral-B toothbrush. Oh, yeah, a, yeah. a water pick I have is a water just pick. I know that. a water pick <laughs> is actually just an adjunct um, to flossing. It does not replace flossing. It's and it a, works really good for water fights. Yes, too. it's a water gun fight in the bathroom. So be <laughs> careful, parents. <laughs> my niece and nephew. I told my sisters to get it, and it's literally a water it gun is. fight. She's like, "Is that why you told me to get it?" I'm like, "No, put it on your teeth." Put it on your teeth. <laughs> and it is fun, and it works really well, and it is fun as well in a, in a water fight. But um, the other thing, I, I think. A lot of people will ask, do kids really need braces? So I get that question a lot in the dental office. Mm -hmm. um, we have parents all the time that say, should I see an orthodontist? Um, I don't know, my daughter's three years old. I just had a patient last week. She's three with a thumb sucking habit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I go to see the orthodontist. They're free consultations. It's great to make sure you get that early care because mm -hmm. early care, you can manipulate the palate easier than oh, a yeah. patient who's 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm all about an advocate of seeing the orthodontist early on to help um, make it easier for the parents before they get older. Um, one last thing, because a lot of people hear with young kids about nutrition or milk or things like that on their teeth. Do you have any nutrition tips for parents? Yeah, so I always tell parents um, water is a great
great neutralizer. Yeah. Your mouth likes mm -hmm. to stay at a neutral environment. So if your kids love juice, even chocolate milk, yeah. all of those are hidden sugars. So really even uh, Gatorade, um, those are all things that are acidic in the mouth. So water is your best bet. Milk is a great um, option too, but really making sure that you teach good nutrition habits for the teeth when you have braces. Mm -hmm. I see it so many times where patients think that the orthodontists are caring, <laughs> doing fillings and, and whatnot, but no, you still have to see your general practitioner. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Look how happy so. these kids are. See, those kids would have had a water fight with that water pick <laughs> yeah. out of the way. They did. They, I'm sure they did. I'm but sure. Right before the great. You guys have the free consultation, like you yes. said. So people yes. can bring in the young ones and meet yes. with you guys and really get something um, on track for their future care with their dentistry. So I want to make sure everybody's got the information for Bubam Orthodontics. Here's what you can do. New patients starting in February. If you mentioned the dental health segment and you saw this right now, um, you can get a free Oral-B Pro 5000 rechargeable electric toothbrush. So pretty awesome. You can get that now for your family. And then you can get that free consultation as well. All you have to do is visit bubonortho.com. And again, mention that you saw them on the morning blend here with this health segment to get that free toothbrush. Awesome stuff, you guys. Thanks for being awesome. here yeah, today. Thank you. Oh, and we have a gift for you, too. Oh, yay! So. <laughs> what is so, it? So, in it's honor from Harris Family Dental and Bubon Orthodontics, we are giving you a power tooth yeah, brush. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. I'll bring my water pick to show you. <laughs>